everybody. This is the Whisper Corner and in this video I'm going to look at how to solve Hitoshi puzzles. Now if you live in the UK you can get these in the Daily Mirror newspaper every day. So let's just first of all read the instructions at the bottom. The totals given in the areas bounded by bold lines, cages, can be the result of addition, subtraction, multiplication or division. The numbers 1 to 5 can appear once in every row and column. Note that numbers can be repeated within cages. Um, so it's sort of a mix between maths and sudoku so every column will have one two three four and five and every row will have one two three four and five and you're sort of bound by those restrictions and then you have the conditions of each cage it tells you either, for example, in these ones, just what they are, or it'll tell you what the answer for each number will be, and the operator, mathematical operator. So, for example, in the top right here, we're told these two numbers add up to give 8. These two numbers divide to give 2. These three numbers multiply to give 60 and this one looks quite straightforward but there can be some messy complicated ones which will probably appear in the other pages that I've cut out of the newspapers so let's see well, first of all fill in the numbers that were given. So we know that this is 4 because it tells us and this is 3 because it tells us. Now the most the easiest way of solving these puzzles is just to look around and see which cages that you can easily work out which numbers will be inside. Not necessarily that you will know where they go yet, but just you know which are inside and then you can use that to figure it furthermore. So let's see. As I said, these two add up to give 8. So bear in mind that the only numbers that we have available are 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. And you can't the same rules of Sudoku. Sudoku, you can't repeat numbers in the same row or column. If this, these two numbers add up to give 8, then it must be 5 and 3. You don't know where, but you know they're going to be in here. Um, these two numbers add up to give 6, so that could be 5 and 1, or 4 and 2. These two numbers divide to give 2, so that'll be 2 and 4. 4 divided by 2 is 2. Or 2 and 1. 2 divided by 1 is 2. And as you go along, you can figure that out. So, let's see. These two numbers add up to give 6. So again, 4 and 2, 5 and 1. And that'll be 4 and 2, 5 and 1. These two add up to give 5. So that could be 4 and 1, or 3 and 2. I seem to have given myself an awkward one to start off with. I thought I'll just pick a random one and it'll be nice and easy. So let's see. Um, okay. Well, we'll look at this. You wouldn't think it would be the 
simplest one to look at first, but three numbers that multiply to give 60. So you only have three numbers within the cage, so you're not going to be having one, and you can't use two. And as luck would have it, three times four is 12, times five is 60. So the three numbers that multiply to give 60 is three, four, and five. So we know that this cell here can't be three or four because it's already in that column. So that's five. Now, so we're left now in this column with one and the two. We don't have enough information to carry on. Now, I said these two numbers in this cage add up to eight. Well, we have five already in this row, so this can't be five, so that's our five, and that's our three. Now we have these two numbers add up to five, so we're left with one, two, and four. Now to make five, it's going to be one and four. So we know this isn't four, because there's already one in this row. So that's our four, our one goes there, and then that leaves, this has to be a two, because they have to use up the numbers one, two, three, four, and five in every column. So, the, I'll look now at this cage. These two numbers add up to six. We have two, so this will have to be four. Um, now we'll look at this middle row. And there's no set way of doing this, it's just a case of finding what you can and then going with it. So this middle row, we have two, three and four, so that leaves one and five. Well, these two numbers divide to give two. It can't be five, because otherwise it would be 2.5. So 5 has to go there, which leaves this has to be our 1. So then 2 numbers divide to give 2, so this is 2 divided by 1. Come down here, these 2 numbers add up to 6. We have 5, and that's 1, makes 6. So now in, we'll apply some Sudoku. Um, this row has 1, 3, and 5, 1, 3, and 5, so we need 2 and 4. Well, this can't be 2 because of that 2, so the 2 goes there, and that leaves our 4. So we knew that this was 5 times 4 times 3, so the 3 has to go there. So now, the last number that's required to complete this column is 5. That has to go there. And we're told that these two numbers in this cage add up to 6. So it's 5 plus 1 is 6. And then the last number required to complete this column is 2. We're told that these two numbers add up to 6. So if we have 2, then that's 4. And then this row we have 2, 3, 4 and 5, so this has to be a 1. So now these two numbers add up to give 8, so that's going to be 5 and 3. This can't be the 5 because there's already a 5 in this row, so that's 5, that's our 3. And then we were told that these two add up to give 5. Well, all we have left in this column is 2 and 3, so this isn't 3 because of that 3, so that's our 3, and that's our 2. And then, just to, hear, to confirm and check, 5 plus 3 is 8, 2 plus 4 is 6, 2 divided by 1 is 2, 5 plus 3 is 8, 4 plus 1 is 5, 5 plus 1 is 6, 2 divided by 1 is 2, 
5 multiplied by 4 is 20, multiplied by 3 is 60, 4 plus 2 is 6, 5 plus 1 is 6, and 3 plus 2 is 5. 4 is 4 and 3 is 3. Okay, so let's look at this one. Uh, 3 cells multiplying to 60 has come up again. Um, here we have 3 cells multiplying to give 16. Um, 16 is a square number. It's 4 4s. So considering there's going to be 2 4s in this cage, they can't be in the same row or in the same column. So a 4 will go there and a 4 will go there. So now they're in different rows and they're in different columns. So to make 16 we have 4 times 4 multiplied by 1. Now what else can we do? So this cage here in the top right, I told these two numbers add up to 4. Now it can't be 2 and 2 because we can't have two identical numbers in the same row or column. So it'll have to be three and one. So this can't be one because of that one. So the one goes here and that's our three. Um, these two numbers add up to five. So it could be three and two or four and one. But it can't be 4 and 1 because there's already a 4 and 1 in both columns. So it must be 3 and 2. So this isn't our 3 because of that 3. So that's our 3 and that's our 2. So then looking at the right hand column we have 1, 2, 3, 4. So this has to be a 5. So we're told that these 3 numbers add up to 8. So if this is 5, these 2 must add up to 3, which is 1 and 2. So we can see that this cell here can't be 1, because there's already a 1 in this column. So that's a 1, and that's our 2. These two numbers multiply to give 15, so that's going to be 3 multiplied by 5. This cell here can't be 3 because of this 3 already in the row. So that's our 3 and that's our 5. Um, this cell, this column here, we already have 1, 2, 3 and 4. So that's 5. And we're told that these two cells in this cage add up to 7. So if this is 5, that's 2. And then in this column we already have 1, 2, 3 and 5. And that has to be 4. These two numbers add up to give 9. We have 4. That's going to be 5. And there's certain numbers that you just know what they have to be. 8 has to be 5 and 3. 9 has to be 5 and 4. Um, so let's see this top row. We have 1, 3, 4 and 5. So this has to be 2. Now, ordinarily, this, these two cells divide to give 2. You would normally have to be careful because you don't know it could be 4 divided by 2 or 2 divided by 1. But in this case, we know it can't be 4 because there's already a 4 in this row. So that's our 1. This row now has 1, 2, 4 and 5. We need 3. These two numbers add up to give 5. We have 3, so that's 2. Um, these two numbers add up to give 5 is 1 and 4, because it can't be 2 and 3, because they're already in this column. So this can't be 1 because of that one, so the 1 goes up there. So that's our 4. So now we know 3 numbers multiplying to give 60 is 3 times 4 times 5. So in this row we already have 3 and 4. 
So that's our 5. In this row we already have a 3, so that's our 4. And then by deduction it has to be a 3. And then again, just to check, 1 plus 3 is 4. 4 times 1 is 4, times 4 is 16. 5 plus 2 is 7, 3 plus 2 is 5. 1 plus 2 is 3, plus 5 is 8. 5 times 3 is 15. 5 plus 4 is 9, 3 plus 2 is 5. 1 plus 4 is 5. 5 times 4 is 20, times 3 is 60. And 2 divided by 1 is 2. Okay, let's look at another example. Okay. These three numbers multiply, just for making things obvious here. Put the numbers up high. These three numbers multiply to give 12. Well, that's going to be 4 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 1. So this is 4, 3, and 1 of some order, which leaves 5 and 2, which makes 7, which is what we want. Um, these two numbers add up to give 9, so it's going to be 5 and 4. So we know that these are going to be 1, 2, and 3. We're told that these two multiply to give 6. So that'll be 2 and 3. So this is 2, 3, 4, 5 of some order. But we know that has to be 1. So now I said these two were 5 and 2. Now rather luckily these two numbers add up to give 9. So as I said earlier they have to be 5 and 4. We don't know where yet where in particular they go but we do know that 5 is already in this column so that's not 5 that's going to be our 5 and that will be our 2 so let's see we have 2 we know this is 4 and 5 so that leaves 1 and 3 which is quite nice because we know that this can't be 3 because these two numbers add up to give 6. And they can't be 3 and 3, because you can't have two numbers the same in the same row or column. So that's not 3, so 3 goes down there, and that's our 1. So these two cells add up to give 4, we have 3, that's 1. These two cells add up to give 6, we have 1. So that's 5. And over here we have these two cells add up to give 9. So that's 5 and 4. We know this isn't 5 because of that 5. So the 5 goes there. And that's our 4. Now in the top right corner, we set at the start. That was going to be 1 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 4. So now this can't be 4 because of that 4. So the 4 goes over there, and this has to be 3. Alright, let's see, what else can we do? Okay, so these two add up to give 9. So again, this isn't 5 because of that 5. So the 5 goes there, and this has to be our 4. These two numbers add up to 9. They've used this one a lot in this one, so nearly three times. So this isn't 5 because of that 5, so that's our 5, and that's our 4. Now, as I said, these two divided by 2, so that's going to be 1 and 2, because there's already the 4 in this column. We know this isn't 1, because it's already a 1 in this row. So that's 1, and that's 2. This bottom row has 1, 2, 3, and 5, so this has to be a 4. These two numbers add up to give 6, so we have 4. This must be 2. 
this row here we have one, two, four, and five, so this is three. These two numbers multiply to give six, so that's two. These two numbers multiply to give six as well, so again that will be three by two. This isn't two because of that two, so that's two, and that's three. In this row we have two, three, four, and five. This has to be one. And this row has one, two, four, and five. And this has to be three. Now again, we'll just check that all the cages have the right numbers. Four multiplied by one is four. Multiplied by three is twelve. Four plus five is nine. Two times three is six. Two divided by one is two. Five plus four is nine. Three times two is six. Five plus one is six. Five plus four is nine. 3 plus 1 is 4, 4 plus 2 is 6, 3 plus 1 is 4, and 5 plus 2 is 7. Okay then, okay, in this one we're told that is 1, and that is 5. Okay, so we're told these top two divide to give 2. Well, we already have 1, so it's going to have to be 2 and 4. So we don't know where yet, but we do know the only number that's left is 3. So 3 has to go there. We're told these two cells multiply to give 12, so that's going to be a 4. We're told on the other side here, these two multiply to give 12. So again, that'll be four by three. If it if the choices went up to six, we'd have the other option of two times six, but we don't. So again, this is three and four. We know this isn't four because it's already a four in this row. So that's three and that's four. Um, we're told these two multiply to give two. So that's gonna be one and two. So we have 1, 2, 3, and 4. This has to be 5. We're told these two multiply to give 5, so that's going to be 5 times 1. Um, we're told that this, these two multiply to give 12, so that's going to be 4 times 3. We don't have enough information, but we do know now that that's not 4 up there. The 4 goes there, and this will be a 2. We're told these two add up to give five. So it's not gonna be four and one because we're already in this row. So it'll have to be three and two. We don't know where, but we do know this has to be five. Um, okay, these two multiply to give five. Again, that's five times one. We know this isn't one because it's already a one in this column. So that's our 1, and that's our 5. So now in this column we have 1, 3, 4, and 5, so this by deduction has to be 2. Now in this case, again here we have 2 cells divided to give 2. So it can't be 1 because there's already a 1 in this column. So that's going to be 4, 4 divided by 2 is 2. In this column we need 2 and 3. Well, this can't be 3 because there's already a 3 in this row. So that's our 3 and this is 2. 2 times what is 2? So that's 1. 3 plus what is 5? So that's 2. So now we have 12. These 2 multiply to give 12, so that's 4 times 3. And we know this isn't 4 because of that 4. So the 4 goes down there, and that becomes 3. Um, these two add up to give 8. So it has to be 5 and 3. This can't be 5 because of that 5. So the 5 goes there, and that's our 3. And then finally, these three numbers multiply to give 10. So it's going to be 5 times 2 times 1. So this isn't 1 because of that 1, so the 1 goes there, and that's our 2. 
and we can see that every row has one, two, three, four, five, 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 and then just check the miles. One is one, five is five, four threes are twelve, four divided by two is two, five times one is five, five plus three is eight, three plus two is five, two times one is two, four divided by two is two, five times one is five, three times four is twelve, five times one is five, times two is ten, and four times three is twelve. Let me just do one more. Let's see. These two numbers multiply to give 15, so it'll be 5 and 3. That's 5 and 3, which leaves 1, 2 and 4. Um, that's 5 and 3. These two numbers add up to give 6, so that'll be 2 and 4, which leaves this happen to be 1. Now, these two numbers add up to give 9, so that's our usual 5 and 4. So if this is 4 and 5, and this has to be 2 and 3, we're told that these 4 numbers add up to 8. So if this is 2 and 3, then these 3 add up to 6. So this has to be 2. Now, we knew that this was 5 and 3, which made this 2 and 4. So then now this can't be 2, because there's already a 2 in that column. So that's 2, and that's our 4. Um, okay. These two multiply to give 15, so that's 3 and 5. This column needs 1, 3 and 5. So 1 can't be in here. So 1 is in here somewhere. So these two add up to give 6. So that's 1 and 6, sorry 1 and 6, 1 and 5, so this has to be 3, so then this is our 5. Um, and I said this was 1, 2 and 3, and well, this isn't 2, so our 2 has to go there, and that's our 3. Um, so this is 1 and 4. This can't be 4 because then these two add up to 6. If that was 4, then that would be 2. And it can't be 2 because there's already a 2 in that row. So that's our 1 and that's our 4. So these two add up to 6. So that's our 5. 4. These two divide to get 4. So that's going to be 4 divided by 1. In this row we have 1, 2, 3 and 5, so that's 4. These two divide to get 4, so that's 1. We have 1, 2, 4 and 5, so that's 3. Um, until the, these two add up to give 6, and this is 1 and 5. So that's going to be 1, and that's going to be 5. These two add up to give 9. We already have 5, so that's 5 there, and that's 4. This bottom row has 1, 3 and 5, we need 2 and 4, this can't be 4, so that's 4, so that's our 2, these 3 add up to give 9, we have 4 plus 3 is 7, so this has to be 2, we have 1, 2, 4 and 5, this has to be 3, we're told 3 to go away 2 is 1, and then finally the top left, these 2 multiply to get 15, we have 5 and 3, this can't be 5 because of that 5, so 